You know, last days of Old Earth is quite new, um, so I'm actually going to jump into just a skirmish match against an AI player. Now, I could play as the Sky Watchers or as the Automata. I'm actually going to play as the Sky Watchers. For me, I like a large map size, but for you guys here today, I'm just going to keep the map size at medium. Um, and as for the Automata, we could actually really change this up and, and specify what kind of Automata we want to face. Uh, we could add another Skywatchers, so basically another ally, etc. But right now, I'm just going to go with this. So we're going to jump in, guys. The map is going to be randomized, um, and at this point, I hope we get a nice starting position. Uh, and we will get started on last days of old earth so first of all we're going to be rolling for initiative now we could actually spend certain initiative points to get an extra roll but we're going to accept this since it's turn one we don't have any initiative points to spend it's just the truth and the first thing i like to do is build an army so i'm actually going to send this guy in he's really not a great troop but this guy right here is sabal this guy is awesome he's a hero um and uh the way this works is essentially we need to get these heroes to create armies now the Delver Rangers right here is our first army, uh, and we also need a garrison, but right now I really am more concerned with getting an army. Now, a few things go into this. We can buy this, but it's going to cost us initiative points. We could spend initiative points to put units into this army, or we could spend initiative points to draw another card. In this case, I'm actually going to go ahead and add some of these units. They look pretty great, the Wormbane Huskies, and uh, we can eventually deploy this army, but I'm not going to do it this turn because I want to give it a little more of a chance to grow. So let's go ahead and... Uh, end round one and of course we could spend uh, resources initiative here to get a better dice roll the way this works if we win the dice roll we go first if they win the dice roll they go first i'm not going to do anything about it right now so in this case looks like we actually won the initiative roll um, so i'm going to jump quickly into our new army the delva ranges and definitely grab some shield generators some more wormbane huskies and i'm going to deploy this army guys so these guys are ready to fight. We're immediately going to send them out of our clan home. And I want to start drawing more cards because we need more heroes. Um, now, these are not heroes. The heroes are those guys that you saw initially um, that actually have specific names. Those guys are worth something. But these guys aren't aren't heroes at all. So we just have to keep drawing. And right now, unfortunately, we're just going to have to end our turn uh, without anything in our garrison. Um, we're waiting for our opponent. And they won the initiative roll this time. All right, guys. If you could see here in Last Days of Old Earth, this is based off of a of a game in which the world is in a, a terrible ice age, and the closer you are to the equator, the higher your chance for survival. And even the equator is is pretty cold, but not totally frozen. Um, so you could see you're you're going to see a lot of destroyed uh, remnants like hills here. You're also going to see destroyed cities, which I find just a beautiful part of the game. Uh, but we'll be finding them. And there we go. Slavers spotted, guys. What are we going to do, guys? We spotted slavers. I'm going to let you guys decide. Do we leave or do we go and try to uh, to attack this? So, guys, it's clear to me we're going to attack these slavers. We can't accept this. Um, so far, 38%. Whoa. That's not good. I, they have a pretty nice army. We're going to engage, and you guys will get to see the combat here in Last Days of Old Earth pretty quickly. Now, I'm not 100% that good at using the shield generators um as you can see the hero hangs out back here and uh, i'm hoping the shield generator i'm assuming will just provide well a shield um these are the wormbane huskies you can kind of take a look at the card details let's look at the shield generator so passive bonus of one defense to all three units in a row ahead of it so this is pretty obvious we have to we have to switch this here wait a minute put these wormbane huskies here and we're going to go ahead and grab the shield generator and put them behind. I also want to take a look at this unit. And this is the infantry support 3. Unit gets plus 3 attack until the end of the round. Alright, that's good enough, guys. So we're going to get ready for battle. And remember, we are facing slavers. Uh, we've got to accept the initiative roll here. Now, this guy actually has a rank up, which is a little troubling, to say the least. Now, I'm going to take my Wormbane Huskies first. And I want to take a look at these slavers. It's basically the same as an infantry support 3 unit. Let's attack. Now, we get this initiative roll, and we can use Fate, guys, which is another um, resource we have to go ahead and increase our damage. In this case, I am going to use a little bit of Fate. The defense for this unit is actually... Well, that doesn't make sense. Zero? That can't be correct. Well, let's try this out. We're just going to commit one Fate point. Boom! Shock attack. And actually, he had three defense, so he's down to one now. We actually should have used one more Fate point. Looks like these slavers are going to try to take out our Wormbane Huskies. And clearly, these slavers are not happy with us getting in the way of their resources. But you know what? What can they do? So I'm actually going to let them get through with a little bit of damage here. Again, using all of your fate points right away is also not a good idea in this game. You want to be careful. You want to use them 
you know, in a, in a proper way, to be honest with you. All right, let's see. So this time I'm actually going to take our support infantry, guys, and open fire on this gentleman right here. Because I know that if I just get one shot on this slaver, he's going to go down. I won't even have to use a fate point to commit. And we can also take this unit, and now I'm going to finish him off. Two damage is definitely sufficient to kill this guy. And there we go, guys. Our first slaver kill. Another initiative roll, and actually we won it. I mean, the enemy is just not... It's not their day today at all. Alright, so I'm going to add some fate to this attack. It's a shock attack. Wave scatter plus one defense. Very cool. So actually, I'm liking the shield generator a lot. Um, hmm... We can always repair these later, but I, I am actually going to put up one defense for this attack because I'd rather not have to bring these guys back to base or build a depot, which you guys will see later, to repair them. Um, I'd rather not it not have to come to that. So, let's go ahead and attack these gentlemen right here. <coughs> to attack, we definitely want to use some fate points here uh, and go for the full salvo if possible. And it's too bad we don't have any tank units. If we had some tank or artillery units, you guys could see the devastating effect they can have on just a row of men. But I still think we did the right thing here. We, we dealt with these raiders, or these slavers, I should say. And hopefully, um, this sends a message out to the other slavers that our territory is not a place to capture slaves. Let's go ahead and hit them once again. Now, no fate there, so I'm definitely going to commit two fate points. I can only commit one, so we're out of fate. This is the problem, of course. Um, and we're going to have to deal with with the consequences. But I think these guys will do just fine. The Wormbane Huskies are rolling right through and the slavers are defeated. Awesome, guys. You can see that. We actually took an area. And, uh, interesting. I can actually go ahead and start building some, um, some strongholds here. But I'm not going to do it right now. As you can see over here, uh, we could also build, we could either build a stronghold or we could build an extractor or collector, I should say. Right now, we're not going to focus on that too much, though. I'm going to jump back here and hope that we can draw a hero card. At least we got our tank, the Bearcat. But I'm still waiting for a hero. There we go, Jonas Cabral. Uh, so we could actually make this guy the head of our of our garrison, which I think is probably a good idea. Um, we do need a general that heads the garrison, and we're eventually going to have to have a garrison army, uh, even though I prefer to just have armies are always on the attack. Uh, but that's something we have to deal with, so that's all right. I'm going to go ahead and end the turn. We won the initiative roll once again. And let's keep moving through. This cold wasteland. So at this point, you never know where the enemy is, of course. We're going to have to locate them, and we might locate any number of different enemies before that eventually happens. So I'm going to try to draw another hero card, believe it or not. Uh, right now, we just don't have enough to add any units, as you can see. We're going to have to wait a little bit. And you can see the action points up here in the upper left corner are sort of our resource surplus. Um, and uh, we could certainly build things, extractors, to increase our resources. Uh, but right now, our resources are, are not the greatest, let's be honest. I'm going to go ahead and end our turn. I mean, this is a frozen wasteland, so resources are few and far between, to say the least. Okay, this is actually looking almost like we're getting closer to the equator, possibly. It's actually a nice forested area somewhat warm I would I would assume for their hero then we can actually you know wipe out that army entirely but their their hero has a chance of escaping every single battle uh, now we're going to deploy these guys but once again I want to get one more unit in here and I've got to send in the spear sister trackers and now we can deploy this army uh, and start going maybe to the west over here just to make sure that we don't have any enemies getting near us as you can see each uh, hero looks different they've got their own separate hero tile and really they have their own separate uh, I guess you could call it you know abilities, background, etc. Um, which is really interesting in this game. Let's go ahead and end the turn here. It's definitely a tie, is it? Might be a win. Alright, I'm actually going to start building a, a mediocre garrison now.
Okay, so we actually found an encampment. This is just an encounter. Uh, we will get there next turn. So we're actually in a frigid zone. We don't want to go too far. Um, but obviously, we do want to see what this encounter is all about. Uh, before we do that, I want to make sure that this is also building. We still want to keep building uh, our army over here. And we still want to keep drawing cards. Because who knows? We might need this, this garrison force to defend eventually. So we're going to end our turn. And as you can see, I rarely use initiative for the dice roll. Unless it's like I can see the enemy and I desperately want to attack first. I'm just not going to waste initiative points on that. Alright, let's grab this. So here we go, guys. Materials cache. The lock securing this ancient container is so rust-eaten that it crumbles like chalk under the first touch. Inside there is a refined titanium of a quality impossible to replicate. Of course we're going to take that. So we're going to claim the resources. It's going to end our movement, but it's a total worth it end to our movement right now. Um, and I just want to focus on continuing to build these armies. As you can see, this steel tusk, I mean, just a great tank to use here. It really does a lot of damage to the enemy. And we will draw a card just in an effort to grab a hero here. Alright, let's end the turn. Here we go, guys. We have found an Automata army, and they're actually in an area I'm not happy about. They're in a hilly area, which means they're going to get a defensive bonus here, and uh, not something I want to face. I'm afraid as to who we're facing, what they're going to be like. Let's hope that uh, they treat us delicately, but we shall not do the same for them. We're going to be ruthless, as a matter of fact. Let's just take a look here. We'll draw another card. Still trying to get... I've never seen this, by the way. This looks cool. Still trying to get that hero card. No luck. Now, for this, I might actually spend a little bit for the initiative roll. And we won. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to launch an attack on this area. And let's crush the enemy. But first, I want to send these guys towards this event. Here we go, guys. And that's definitely going to be a battle. Unity function. We're going to engage them. Now, usually, I would auto-resolve on a battle like this. Because we are very much ahead of them in terms of benefits here. They're actually getting... A nice initiative roll, but they only have one unit. So I don't see us losing, really. And one thing we have to keep in mind, if you look over here at the health of this unit, we need to build an outpost to be able to repair the unit. Clearly, she's not in the greatest standing, uh, and eventually we will have to repair her. So let's go ahead and strike here, and that's one attack. That's pretty pathetic. Yeah, we're going to use some fate points here, get it to at least two attack, and slowly lower this guy's uh, power rating. I want to take a look at this unit. So this is a Matux. Kind of looks like some sort of walking mechanized beast of burden of some sort. It doesn't look friendly. Um, okay, let's see. And as you can see, we can really provide very little attack points um, using this particular unit. That's why we really need to start upgrading with the tanks. You know, some of these armored units, they're just not going to be very badly damaged by us. We can get one attack, and I don't believe we can use fate, can we? Maybe we can use one fate point. And as you can see, their defense is not bad. So this unity function army is nothing to scoff at. And definitely is showing us we need heavier um, units. Oh boy, that's hurting. Alright, let's attack once again. Definitely going to have to use fate. And he's going to have one defense, so he's only going to take one damage, guys. Do the same with this unit. And this is more... Basically, uh, quantity over quality. We're really just using as many men as possible to take this guy down. But he certainly has a better unit here. He actually got unlucky there because we can only do one damage with this guy. Um, so, if he had avoided that, he would have certainly been able to avoid that damage. There we go. Nice! And now we can finish you off. going to be a win for us guys i do believe this is actually a general so we might chase the general or just destroy him beautiful yes exploded completely so that general is not coming back and obviously we probably want to build an outpost for this army eventually but we can wait for now let's take a look at this collector i don't want to build a garrison here yet but i do want to draw a hero card come on come on all right we're gonna end our turn
Let's see what this event's all about. All right, once again, we found some more resources. Very useful. And with this guy, I'm going to go ahead and actually build an outpost up here. Which is a weird place to build an outpost, to say the least. But I think it's worth it. And look at this, guys. We have found the enemy city. Lagris City. We've gotten very lucky here. I'm definitely going to be bringing some more armies to attack. And we want to make sure we're prepared. Because the enemy city is its not going to be an easy grab at all. I'm going to take a look at our outpost really quickly here. And we can actually heal and repair this army. So let's heal and repair our our huskies here. And I think we can actually... Wow, we can deploy directly from here. So let's do that. I know these absolved skirmishers. I'm not going to even deploy them because they're just not good enough. I hate to say that, but... I just don't see the point. I'm going to wait until we can actually deploy one of the tanks. Automata winning that initiative roll. And by the way, guys, once again, just post your questions down below if you have any. Um, we'll jump out every now and again to answer those questions. All right, we're going to have to discard some cards. So I'm going to discard this guy. And we're just going to keep this outpost here until we get here with our other army. If I need to, I'll attack with just this army. It's a definite win for the Automata. And oh no, they're getting close, guys. They just took our Collector. Now, this is definitely not something I expected. I told you guys, we have to have defenses here. Um, and, and this is exactly why. So we do have pretty nice defenses here. I'm not too worried about that. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into our Delva Rangers and see if we can get this Iron John support unit. And let's just deploy this army and go straight for their main city. If they want to play rough, we can play rough. Let's go ahead and grab this as well. I think we already moved our maximum. Yeah, it's all right. Once again, Automata getting the first move. It's a little worrying. And it looks like they left the garrison. So they basically just got behind us, screwed with our supplies, and left. Pretty smart, I must say. And this right here is a major battle. Now, this is their main, I think, one of their main uh, heroes. We're definitely going to engage. And so far, this is fine. The shield generator is going to provide plus one um, defensive bonuses to all of these units. I do want to take a look at this, though. Let me take a look. Choose friendly infantry that the unit gets plus two attack until the end of round. So I actually might want to move this guy back, but he does still have attack. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to move him back. He's going to be more of a support unit, support missile unit. Let's go ahead and end. I actually would have spent a little bit on that initiative roll. Alright, the Maddox is going to attack, but we're not going to take a single bit of damage. He was going for a weaker unit there. Let me take a look here. So I am going to use the combat ability. And just make this, you know, that much more of a deadly little wolf. So I'm going to use Fate for the defense here. I don't want them to do any damage to this unit. <coughs> Alright, here we go, guys. We're going to go ahead and attack the Neobot Codger. And just imagine, like, hundreds of little Neobots attacking. It sounds pretty vicious to me. Um, I could actually wipe this guy out pretty soon. So I'm actually going to use Fate. I don't usually use six Fate at once, but this is just too good of a roll. I had to take him out. We're committing a lot of fate here just because we're attacking the enemy capital, so I don't really care how much we have to spend to take him out. There we go, guys. Battle results are a victory. And that was an easy victory for us, taking Lagris. And this is where we have to pursue the enemy uh, ruler, or their hero in this case. And their hero is Euler. Of course, as you can see, the Automata, they're much more robotic. We're more human, etc. Sort of like human space wolf type people. Um, and in this case, they are robots. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to spend fate on this roll uh, because we want to capture this enemy. But he has escaped. However, we have two cities now, and that's a victory, guys. That was a fast victory, actually. Very fast victory. Um, and we can go ahead and try another game this time. This time, maybe we can play as uh, as the Automata and not as the humans. 
Um, I want to take a quick look. What do you guys think so far in the comments down below? We're about halfway through, I think. And uh, we also have multiplayer. Of course, right now the game is just out. So we're not going to try multiplayer today. We might get onto that next week if we decide to continue with this game. Uh, but I think we're going to go for another skirmish match. So I'm actually going to try Automata. Uh, and we can do Automata against Automata. Any combination of the two. If you and your friends just want to play human versus human, you can do that. Uh, in this case, I always like to face the enemy. So I'm going to be playing the Skywatchers. Um, and we're going to accept this. Basically the same build we had last time, but of course the map will be randomized. Our starting location will be randomized. Um, and we're in Lagaris City, of course. Now we own Lagaris City. And these are the different heroes we have. And they look vicious. I mean, these definitely look like robotic death machines, uh, to put it simply. Cosgrid, Revo, it sounds like computer programs. Um, deadly computer programs that eat and kill you slowly. So let's go ahead and open up the actual Lagra City map. And I'm going to get this guy, Revoche. This guy looks like an awesome infantry leader. Um, this guy looks like a pretty good tanker, too. But somebody needs to be um, the head of our garrison, right? And we're going to go ahead and create a second army. Now, I'm going to name this army whatever you guys want me to. So what do you guys think we should name this new army? Hey, Chav Hunter. I'm not sure. Um, actually, that's a good question. It's good to hear that, guys. Thanks. I am Hunger by. That's your name, Hunger Bai? Hello, Mr. Bai. Um, and uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, so what are we going to call this army, guys? We need a name. First one that puts a name up is what we're going to use. Can't be anything offensive, obviously. It's got to be nice and family-friendly, at least a little bit. You know what? I know what we're going to name this army. We shall name this army... The Great Slytherin Horde. Yes! Yes, you will never end us. This is what happens if our company just goes batshit crazy and we become a deadly computer program to wipe out the rest of the world. Who knows? It could happen, right? I think. Um, so the Great Slytherin Horde is here. We still can't get Revoche there. We'll get him in there next turn. And obviously, this game, um, multiplayer is very fun. I mean, especially if you guys take the same faction. I, I recommend each person taking Automata and trying that out. It can be a really tough uh, challenge. And I want to take a look here at Lagra City. We want to build that Great Slytherin Horde. We've got Rivosh. And I want to take a look. I'm not familiar with the Automata weaponry. This is a repair thing. Sort of like a little nanobot. And the Capital Wardens... Sort of a recon unit. Uh, the dex array looks really useful. Now this allows us our attacks to reach one space beyond combat range, but we don't have any like generalized infantry units yet. And that's what we need. We just got another hero. Do you see this? Like last turn we had no heroes. This turn we're drawing almost exclusively heroes. There's a Neobot Cadre. Now we could actually use that, and we could use the Soma Railgun. So these are all pretty useful. Um, even the Kappa Wardens. In fact, I'm going to drop the Kappa Wardens into this army. They're not a bad force, um, and we'll go ahead and end our turn. We're not even going to buy initiative dice. Alright, this is what I'm talking about. Let's take a look at this Soma Railgun. Oh man, this is a vicious guy. I'm going to put him in. I don't want the... Well, actually, we'll bring the camels in. So we're going to have like a repair army. As you can see, you could really customize an army um, and make it into whatever you want. This army is going to be entirely focused on repairing a huge gun, this um, Soma Railgun, and using it as the main attack force here. I'm going to draw once more. What's Brumby? Okay. He attacks. That's what's important. I don't like the way he looks, but... Let's go ahead and deploy this army. And we want to go towards that event as soon as possible. And look at that Automata Horde, guys. That is vicious looking. It looks like a Xenomorph that's been covered in robotic armor. It's terrifying, to say the least. I wouldn't want to face it. Um, so let's go ahead and end the turn. I will... Nah, I won't draw another card, actually. We still have a hero card here to use to build another army, so I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, we're going to take the Slytherin Horde, guys. Going to move here. It's the Materials Cache. 
Kapos report refined materials located crystalline platinum within precursor purity tolerances beyond capability of local feral humans. <laughs> Hypothesis materials deposited by the creators. Of course, if you want to look into the actual history of this game, and it is deep, uh, the creators, I'm not going to tell you who they are, um, but definitely plays an important role here, and essentially, we see ourselves as above the humans. We see ourselves as uh, a race that's much superior to them. But of course, we are a robot race, you know, nanobot race, really. Um, do robots think and feel? Do nanobots think and feel? I think that the more advanced we get, that question becomes more and more complex. Let's jump over here uh, into Lagris City, and I want to actually try to create a new army, because I'm going to be annoyed if I don't, and I'll let you guys name this one if you haven't before. I am hunger by. I like that. Is this game early access or has it had a full release? That's a good question. Um, I think it's released today because generally I'm not asked to do an early access stream, but it might still be early access. Um, let me take a look here. I like that. I am hunger by. No commas. Let's just call it hunger by. <laughs> it's the army of the great hunger by. Okay, let's do that. We're creating the Hunger Buy army. These are scary. Oh, it's a vicious army. Now, we're going to take this Nanobot 518. He's efficient. He's not a great hero, actually. Um, he's really not a great hero. Um, I like to actually switch him. I want to see if I could switch him with this guy. Let's see if we can do that. I've never tried this with Cascrade, because I want Cascrade in the Hunger Buy army. There we go. We could put this guy in the Garrison City. Hunger by. We're going to draw another card. And Vulcans, yes, finally we got some infantry units. These Vulcans are nice. Um, but of course, we can't attack with them this turn, and they're not that kind of Vulcan. Don't even think about saying that. Um, we're going to continue. Skywatchers have won. They're, they want a lot of initiative rolls. Could also add the Nanobot Codger. And we've already found some Skywatchers, guys. We are approaching. We've already found one of their outposts. That was quick. Um, so let's take a look at the Hunger Buy army. I'm actually just going to wait. I'll add the Nanobot Cadre. See, the music gets a lot more ominous once we face an enemy unit. For once, we actually won the initiative roll, and I am going to attack. I don't know how we're going to do against these guys, but we're about to find out. The Great Slytherin Horde has engaged in combat. I'm definitely putting this... Actually, I'll keep this gun here because I want him to fire. Um, but where's that damn fixer? The repair thing. There he is. Come here, you bastard. No. You, you camel. Put them back here. Alright, that's good. And that's it. That's all they have. They're just some absolved skirmishers. We should be able to deal with this. I want to see the power of the railgun. Boom! Oh, yes. And guys, the great thing about the railgun, if the enemy had had a few more units here, there would be splash damage, so they would take some damage as well. Unfortunately, our Brumby can't really do anything. All he's doing is making it able for our army to move a little faster. He unfortunately doesn't have a very effective job. Um, and even these attack Kappa Wardens are not crazy. Sort of like armored dogs. Let's get the Brumby. Can he attack? I don't think he can. Zero attack. Just gonna get himself killed. Alright, so there we go, guys. The Great Slytherin Horde so far winning the initiative rolls, and we should be able to finish this guy off with one devastating shot from our Soma Railgun. I'm not even going to use Fate. I'll save it, and we'll still win that battle. Unfortunately, we didn't get a hero here. It's just the Great Eagle Marshals. No real hero, but we certainly destroyed an enemy army, and that's going to help. Um, let's take a look over here at Hunger Buy. Actually, Skywatchers won that roll, and if I were them, I'd be attacking that army now, but they clearly don't have the ability to do that. Here we go, we got our Vulcans in, I'm going to draw another card. We got another hero card. This is like when I don't want hero cards to be drawn, and this, guys, is the Omni Harvester. This is the thing that really looks like a Xenobot, Xenomorph, excuse me, um, just is vicious. It actually grants terror bonuses to our army, so it makes the enemy uh, much less likely to... Uh, to win in a defense role, etc. So I'm definitely going to be taking that Omni Harvester eventually. I don't want to waste any resources, really. And I'm not 100% even confident in the strength of this army. Get another Nanobot Codger. So they actually do a lot of damage, these Nanobot Codgers. 
uh, might be pretty useful. I'm really not sure I want to attack this outpost with this army. They just don't have enough offensive units, really, to use. Um, so I'm going to keep trying to build up the Hunger Buy army, because right now this is a heavy attack army, and if we got an Augur X or, for instance, this Omni Harvester to attack, we're going to be in a much better situation. But to do that, we've got to take over enemy outposts, we've got to build our own, and we've got to start getting some resources here. So far, our army really hasn't done much in the way of resources. So we are going to attack this outpost, and this is actually really close. So the Great Slytherin Horde is in a tough position. I'm definitely going to have to engage. And of course, I like our units, our positioning so far. We actually won the initiative roll. That's a huge bonus. And I want to take out probably the shield generator first. Believe it or not. Let's go ahead and we're definitely going to spend fate for this. Heavy gun, heavy fire with the guns. Not bad. And of course, he's got these assault guns and they just totally wiped out one of our units. Totally wiped them out. Um... Really not much we can do. Poor Brumby. Alright, so we're hoping that this assault gun by himself can take out the rest of the army, guys. They won the initiative roll. They will be attacking first. Ooh, and they're actually going for one of our rear units. I did not expect that. Uh, let's go for the kill shot on the shield generator. Unfortunately, wasted all of our fate points, so we've got no fate left. Like I said, I feel much more confident with the other army. These guys are useless. And there are units, the one thing that makes that Brumby useful, there are units that boost our attack power, so the Brumby can technically have attack power, but right now he's not doing very well. Disruption, that's what I like to see. Alright, let's go ahead and open fire on the shield generator. Actually, this time, let's hit this gun. And of course, guys, we've got no fate left, so it's really just up to chance at this point. No damage. See no attack power here, so he's really just attacking with nothing, to be honest with you. Alright, that's the end for the Brumby. I'm actually glad to see him go. <laughs> I, I know that sounds mean, but that thing is a pain. It really is. And three damage. Wow. No damage. No way! So actually, that was one damage, and it got blocked by the defense rating there. Um, but so far, the enemy hasn't managed to beat us either. We won the initiative roll here. Come on, guys. Lucky roll, lucky roll. Those hot dice, that's what we need. But like I said, without the fate, you know, we're really just hoping for the best at this point. This is why it's so important not to waste fate, guys, like I have in the last turns. Uh, but this would have been our first loss so far. Gonna be us. Come on, hot dice, hot dice. Oh, no damage. Our railgun totally misses. Computer error. Actually, we managed to stop that um, attack, incredibly, uh, with a disruption there on the enemy. And I guess since we are the Automata, we can disrupt enemy uh, electronics. Come on, hot dice. Just one. We've been getting some pretty awful rolls. And there we go, guys. We've been defeated by the Trailbreaker Band. Um, I kind of had a feeling because we didn't have a very strong, um, you know, uh, offensive army here. So I'm going to try to escape and fail to escape. So sadly, Rivoche of uh, the Great Slytherin Horde has been captured, probably dismantled for parts. Who knows? Um, a lot of bad things have occurred, and as you can see, all of his army, all of those cards go back into the deck, or into the discard pile, basically the graveyard of the game. Um, let's take a look here, so I do want to deploy these guys, but I wouldn't mind waiting for another unit, and then we will of course destroy, destroy, deploy this army, or destroy, you never know. I'm in that revenge mood, so I'm just, I just want to destroy the enemy. Uh, so this Omni Harvester, I've been wanting to get this guy in forever, and I think we're ready to deploy once we get him. 
Nice. Vicious looking unit as well. Could also always go to the outpost and, um, or build an outpost and start worrying about our units from that outpost. Does that make sense? Did I say that right? I hope so. I hope you guys got that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're continuing towards this area. I'm actually going to go here first. Alright, it's going to be us. Looks like they're trying to build another army here. Alright, let's hit the enemy, guys. 7227, this time our hunger by army is going to be much more effective. That's perfect positioning, in fact. We're going to win the initiative roll. So it looks like they've got this unit ahead, and the rest of these units are all the way back, which I don't like, to say the least. Let's go ahead and use our Omni Harvester. I've been waiting to use this guy forever. That's three damage. We can use some fate, and I'm definitely going to use some fate to just rip this guy to shreds. Look at this thing. He's got a blade over here on this side, a gun on the right side. It's not somebody I'd want to mess with. Of course, these guns are troubling to me because they can do quite a lot of damage at range. So we need to take these guys out quick. No damage. No. And we're not going to even try to use Fate Points because we wouldn't get any damage anyway. Not with two defense. Get the Omni Harvester back out. I actually could have saved a fate point there, but I decided not to. So we got rid of this guy. The thing that's worrying me is I don't know if we have any units that can reach all the way out here. Um, and that would be a, a definite problem. But it does look like these guys can. So I'm actually going to focus on the shield generator first. I want to take this out, um, even if I have to spend a fate point to do it. Sadly, we don't have any fate points left. Um, let's go for it. The Neobots just swamping their engineering equipment and trying to do as much damage to it as possible. And we're going to actually try to hit this tiny little shield generator. So they actually have one defense here. They're not going to take any damage. Oh no! Increased terror there on their assault. And unfortunately we lost a unit, but I'm not too concerned. Yes, they have not yet met our Vulcans or any of our units. Oh, they might take our Vulcans out. That would be a little annoying. Three damage. It's going to definitely be shot down. Oh, because they have a sharpshooter bonus, we actually increase damage there. Nice. Don't try to attack me with a shield generator. Come on. There we go, guys. Getting rid of their shield de generator. And I believe they just have one unit left. And we're just going to try to finish it off with our Omni Harvester. <laughs> this thing is so deadly. And there we go. I'm loving the Omni Harvester. We are victorious. And we've taken an enemy outpost. So we're going to try to uh, chase Eddard twice guard. He's actually one of my favorite human heroes. Um, so I feel a little bad having to pursue him. But we stopped him from escaping and destroyed him, of course. Um, so we're not going to have to worry about him. Of course, one of our units going into the graveyard pile. Um, but ultimately, you know, this is a victory for us. So let's end our turn. We're going to have to face the garrison now, um, and in this case I'm actually going to auto-resolve, just to show you guys what the auto-resolve is like. Enemy's hero is attempting to escape, the enemy escaped, and we're going to spend some fate to capture him. Structure captured, there we go guys, so we have an outpost now. Now this becomes our, our outpost of course, we can start building armies from here, we can start adding on to our armies, and you better bet, I'm going to add this Augur X to our army, not right now though, we've got to heal and repair first, uh, and I'd love to heal and repair the Omni Harvester. Let's also draw another card.
Yes, we just have to wait. Unfortunately, we don't have enough points um, to build anything right now. All right, let's take a look here. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked watching both us with us play the humans and the automata. Uh, what do you guys think so far is the most well, the most interesting faction? Would you say the humans are more interesting, or is the automata more interesting? And why do you think that? Um, also, what do you guys think about the setting of this game? I want you guys to put that in the comments down below, or in this case, the chat. It really helps us to understand what you guys are thinking so far of the games. And don't forget, this game does have a zoom-in feature, just like just about every game. We also haven't encountered the bigger superstructures like these ruins, which can actually improve your infantry. They can improve your uh, production, the, the way you produce resources. You could actually capture an ancient city. Um, which in this case is kind of just a modern city that's been snowed in. Um, and you can capture that and use it, which is really interesting. So I'm loving the game. Personally, I love the art style of this game. Really pretty. And uh, overall, I would definitely recommend multiplayer for this. You know, skirmish is fun, but if you're playing this against a friend, you're going to have a much better time. Um, and certainly much more interesting conversations.